guys, um, my name is Joel, and today, tonight, I'm going to be talking about um, a topic that really just, uh, I think, really needs more explanation, um, because my friends even told me, why don't you do a video on this? Um, if you guys know, if you uh, go to my other YouTube account, and I'm going to give it to you guys, it's, um, it's Living for Jesus. 2006 at gmail.com. Again, that's the Living for Jesus. 2006 at gmail.com. Um, and this is my new one, which says uh, Joel, SWE86 at gmail.com. Again, that's Joel, SWE86 at gmail.com. Forgot, those of you guys don't know, that's all lowercase for both of those, so yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to start the session with prayer. As I always pray. Um, for when I'm doing videos, um, this would make my uh, my ninth um, lesson. So, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you, God, for helping me to renew my mind. And uh, Lord, as I speak on the subject of the difference between um, of worldly dating and Christian dating, um, God, that you would uh, you would through your through your will. Help me speak the right words, and God help me to uh, help me clarify that I am talking about what it is you want me to talk about, and how to explain, and how we as Christians can come to other terms and understanding as to how do we take this subject, how we take dating to be, how we need to take it more serious than it already is. And Lord, I, I give you all the praise and glory and honor. And I take none for myself because I am nothing without you, Christ. I am absolutely nothing. I am nothing but tar and feathers and dust just ready to erupt. Uh, uh, my body is, is filth and I am ugly without you. I have no purpose without you. My life would be over without you. So that being said, God, speak your words to me. In Jesus' name, I pray. And then, and then. Okay, so if you guys have um, YouTube, um, I would encourage you to check out this series. I'm doing a two-part series on breaking down the analogy of dating, looking at worldly dating and Christian dating, and it's going to be two-part series, and I'm going to take seven things into consideration, but tonight I'm only going to talk about three things. Tonight I'm going to talk about three things. The purpose of dating, that's number one. Uh, the second would be what is involved in dating, number two. And what is dating, number three. So really they're going to go in hand in hand. Um, and I just said that backwards. Wow. Wow. Guys, forgive me. God, forgive me. Okay. So the first we're going to talk about is what is dating, and then we'll go into what involves dating, and number three, the purpose of dating. And we're going to look at both aspects, the worldview on dating and the biblical worldview on dating, even though there isn't much to talk about. There isn't much on dating in the Bible per se, but I've had a lot of talks with people that, that there could be. Um, so we'll, we'll look into that. We'll, we'll talk more into that. Um, and then tomorrow, um, tomorrow night, I will, uh, no, I'm sorry, later tonight, or whatever the Lord will would be, I'm going to talk about the other four aspects of, of, of dating, what the other four involved. So we're going to focus on those three tonight. So, again, just so we're on the same pace, what are we talking about tonight? I'll tell you again, um, what is dating, what involves the date, you know, everything that's involved in dating, and what's the main purpose of dating? Because um, I've done a video on courtship, but to those of you that can't do a courtship, and like I said, I'm, I'm still in between on that, but I've had a lot of my friends ask me to do this video. So we're going to talk about those three things. Okay, so the first thing, um, what is dating? Okay, 
dating is where two people get together and they decide that they like each other so much that, you know, I want to date you, I want to get to know you, I want to, you know, I want to have a mutual attraction with you. It's the seven stones of a relationship. It's not officially a relationship yet because then with dating involves, uh, you know, a boyfriend and girlfriend. But I'm going to talk about it in part two and see, watch me, I'm, sorry guys, um, scatterbrained, if you guys don't know me. Um, I've gone off track. I'm going to be saying that. Uh, we're going to go back to that, the boyfriend and girlfriend. So dating involves, wow, Joel, you messed up. So, okay, so dating is where two people get together, right? And they decide that, you know, they want to be more than friends. Um, they want to go on a date with each other. They really like each other. It's past the friendship barrier. Okay, how, let's look at some examples of what is dating. How does the world view what is dating? Well, I'm going to share some things from my experiences. And then, like I said, this, this video is for interpretation and discussion. So if you guys want to talk to me about this even further, uh, you can uh, add me on Facebook or you can talk to me on YouTube. And like I said, um, my YouTube channels are lowercase j o e l s w e a six at gmail.com, and then the other one is uh, Living for Jesus two thousand six at gmail.com. So you guys, this is open to discussion. But anyways, okay. Um, here's what the world views dating to be. Okay, here's what the here's what the world views dating to be. The world sees dating as It sees dating as, you know, the same aspect, you know, two people getting together. Um, but again, they just won't date anybody. Um, you know, they won't, or I'm sorry, they'll date anybody. Uh, because, you know, in the world, it doesn't matter if you're a Christian, it doesn't matter if you're a Satanist or agnostic, because in secularism, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the whole mindset of dating on their, on their end is, uh, you know, and, um, forgive me if I'm using street slang, but, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm using street slang. So, if it offends you, then please do not watch this video. To those that have an issue with street slang. Because I know some, I've lived up north for 18 and a half years, so don't hate street slang. If you do, then I recommend you not watch this video. Because partially it is going to use street slang. Okay, anyways, getting back to what I'm talking about. Dating in the world is, uh, well, it's, they want to hook up. They want to, they want to hook up. Two people want to hook up. Alright, and, um, you know, either, in, in, with the world's perspective, they think it's going to be a one-night stand. There's, there's, there's all kinds of types of dating. Um, there's a one-night stand, and then there's the, um, then there's a fling. And a fling is, like, something that's temporary. Something that's, you know, just, like, for duration. It's not, it's not love. But there's, in the world, uh, there's so many different types of dating and it's it's scary it sets it to the point that uh it, it, it's it's bothersome okay how does how 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 can i say this okay um all right so a guy who's you know he's got shirt shirt ripped off and he's like you know hey baby uh What's he doing? Uh, uh, really lucky. <laughs> I'm just acting, guys. I'm just using a scenario. But usually that's, you know, and then the response is, uh, I'd really like to go out on a date with you. Would you like to go on a date with me? 
um, you know, and it's usually in response of the fact that uh, they themselves, the girl looks at herself and she says, well, yes, sure. And, you know, the whole date goes on, you know, like, say, they got to a movie, and, uh, you know, and then they go and they eat popcorn and stuff, and, or a couple drinks and stuff, and, uh, you know, it just breaks the bonds down, and it's like, you know, hey, hey, babe, I had a good night tonight. And, you know, she'll say, like, something like, you know, I did with you, too. And, and guys, again, <laughs> I'm not black. I'm just I'm placing slang in here because I, I do um, have massive respect for blacks and uh, and for whites too. But like I said, I'm not racist. Okay, so, okay. Right, what's the biblical aspect of what, of what he's dating? Well... For one, the Bible says that in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter uh, chapter five, verses eleven, that to have no fellowship to have no fel to have no fellowship. With unbelievers, do, do not be unequally do not be unequally equally yoked. Um, all right, what involves Christian dating is, of course, it, it wants to be two Christians together. You know that really love God and really love Jesus and want to honor Him in dating and. It is possible to do that, but it is extremely hard because then you put boundaries. In the world's view, with dating, there are no boundaries. So there's your first, uh, you know, there, that clarifies point number one. There are no boundaries in the world's perspective view of things. Let me get up closer. In the world's perspective view of things, there are no boundaries when it comes to dating. There, there are none. There are none, none at all. Because of the fact that there are none, that uh, anything can go. It's, uh, it's interesting. Because dating has a philosophy in the world's eyes. You know, do whatever you want. Um, so, you know, you can hit the clubs, or hit the joints, or smoke a smoke marijuana, or even, you know, get, get knocked up, <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's the truth, um, and I, I, I would, when I was younger, I want to talk about an experience I had, when I was younger, I, uh, I liked a girl, and she was, uh, she was, she was a cheerleader, yeah, right, you know what, uh, <laughs> what would you guys say to that, stereotypical guy that's into breakdancing in high school, um, uh, has crushed on a cheerleader. Yeah, stereotypical. Yeah, I've heard that before. Um, uh, well, I liked her for more than just her looks. I really liked her personality. Um, but what had dragged me away from her is that she wanted to get drunk. She wanted to get drunk with me. And I said, I can't do that. And that's funny, because I was even a Christian then. Uh, that's back 2005. Um, I wasn't even a Christian then. So, you know, how do I know that, well, because, you know, even when we're born, we, we have a sense of, of what we consider what is moral and what is, what is wrong. I mean, the difference between right and wrong. Um, and so I didn't engage in that. And, of course, a lot of people were like, oh, man, but you lost out. You lost out, bro. Or, you know. Man, why don't you get with that girl? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, and I said, because I would be guilty. And you know, that's crazy. Because I'm speaking from a worldly perspective. You don't feel any guilt. You're not supposed to feel any guilt when it comes 
to relationships. And when it comes to dating, when you're in the world. But, but the sad part is you do. And that's the crazy part. And, and, and to me, myself, I still understand that to this day. But you do. You, you have some guilt. Because, of course, you're trying to find the right girl. Um, and, you know, I'm stepping over stones because there's other four principles that I'm going to be saving for part two. Um, but you're trying to impress her. And, you know, you do anything to impress her. And did I? Yeah, I did. I, I really did. As a matter of fact, I, I heard a love letters, and this is back in 2005. I'm just telling you guys a story. Um, to show you what dating is. I, I wrote her letters, I got her flowers, count, right? Like $10 flowers, right? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I wrote her a song. Did she respond? Yeah, but she was looking for a good time, not not a not a relationship. And see, the whole problem with dating in the world as it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a date. And and, and your feelings change all the time. And, and there's so much peer pressure. It's like the fact that you know you don't know what you're doing, but yet you know I just want to have fun. I don't want to be serious. You know, I don't, I don't want to get serious. You know, I just want to date you. I just want to get to know you. You know, I just want to have a little bit of fun with you. So, in the in the in the world of dating, in the world of perspective of things, there is all kinds of dating. You know, there's there's regular dating, uh, and you know, I'm going to talk about the Christian side here in a second. There's regular dating. Um, there's uh, fling dating. There's dating just to have fun. Uh, there's dating just to make a boyfriend or, or uh, ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend jealous. There's dating that's uh, cheating on. Um, and in the Christian perspective of things, we would not cheat on our significant... Wow, let me rephrase that. I'm saying that, for, that part. Significant. Other significant. Yeah, and another lesson. Um, talking about cheating on... In the world class, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Because eventually, you know, they'll find the right person. But in God's eyes, it matters. Um, because that's, that's simple. That's, that's really simple. Because when you hurt somebody, you hurt God. If you guys didn't know that. When you hurt somebody, you hurt God. And that's the way I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's the way I feel about it. Um, okay, so when dating in the world, it doesn't matter. Anything goes, you know. Anything goes. Hop up on a bar or dance on a pole. <laughs> Please do not, do do not. Again, I am explaining the arguments of really dating. I'm getting to the Christian dating aspect of it. Okay. So we talked about the rule of dating enough. Okay, now the Christian aspect of dating. There are two people that have been friends for so long and they've never met each other. Or <laughs> if they're internet dating. If they're internet, you know, talking. And they've never been in each other's houses. They've hung out maybe a couple times. They're in the same class together. Or they see each other out a lot. And they only talk like for a few minutes. They're just they're talking. What dating is in the Christian aspect is that in dating you want to honor God. You want to have boundaries. You don't want to talk to a guy that's you know, has also a struggle with uh, clean. You don't want to clean to the girl. And I'm speaking against myself for, for a second. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. Unless the girl says, you know, in, in, in dating, you want to honest, be honest and respect the girl. You want to, 
in Christian dating, you want to have modesty. In the world, it doesn't matter. Anything goes. Do what thou wilt. And um, for those of you who don't know, that's a Alistair Crowley quote. Do whatever you want, as long as it doesn't offend anybody. You know, date whoever you want, sleep with whoever you want. That's the aspect of worldly dating. Um, but yeah, it's do whatever you want. And that's the, you know, the worldly approach of dating. That's dating without God. Now, I'm getting back to the Christian aspect of it. Dating is very crucial in the Christian world. Because it's like you're praying to God to meet that meet that person who's supposed to be right for you in God's eyes. Not trying to go out and look for someone as the world does. But looking for someone through prayer. Praying to God that he would have the right person for you. Number two. What involves dating? Okay, we're going to look at the worldly approach. Even though I kind of touched on it. In the world, dating involves being down for anything. But I'm also going to talk about that in the Christian aspect. There's a lot of differences, though. Do not... I don't want you guys to think that... Um, that down for anything is necessarily bad. But in the world sense, it is. And I will explain. The world thinks that, you know... Sleeping together is a date. Um, hitting it off with each other is a date. Um, making out with each other is a date. Um... Let me see. Getting drugged up, um, having sex is a date. Um, losing your virginity is a date. Um, all those things. Um, let me see what else. I can go even more. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh yes. Going to the going to the clubs is a date. Um, you know. Do whatever you want, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. As long as you don't hurt anybody, do whatever you want, you know? Go. That's the, that's the quote from Aleister Crowley. Why am I quoting that? And the fact that I'm a Christian, you know, a true believer in Christ. Well, because I'm explaining what is being involved. See, in the world's eyes, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's not bad. It's not, there's nothing wrong. You can't feel guilty over it. That's just it. That's just it. You can't feel guilty or because you think in your eyes that it's right. And, you know, nobody can tell me wrong. I'm doing what I want. And that other person, you know, is going to want somebody that's just like that. Down for anything. You know, wanting a good time. Um, you know, going to the clubs, going to the bars, um, going to the strip club. Sadly, uh, I've heard this before. Uh, there's been a date where a few dates on, the guy and girl like each other, and the girl wants to uh, do a strip dancing as a date and strip dance with, uh, you know, the guy while she's, you know, strip dancing. I'm using this approach to explain. Doing whatever you want involving in dating is not only dangerous, but it's destructive. And look, I'm, I'm, ta I'm, I'm putting this video out to explain. I know about the dating world. I've been there. It's not pretty. Now, it is in a Christian aspect. Um, because there's boundaries. But dating, there's no rules. But, if you take the Christian aspect of dating, you can make rules. 
you, you can make rules. Um, how, how do I mean by that? Because in the Christian aspect of dating, what it involves is a total commitment to Christ. And, you know, I've had many people ask me, well, you know, Brother Joel, how can you... How do you do that? How do you commit to Christ? How do you commit to Jesus when both of you are out there on a date? How? And I've been asked this question tons of times, and I've read this book called Boundaries by these two doctors. It's awesome. I really, really strongly recommend you guys read it. Um, because I'm going to be reordering it again. I'm going to be reading it myself. So that question is how 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 do you how do you do that? Well, it's simple. You say you set boundaries. If you guys are gonna hold hands, you hold hands. If you're gonna limit kissing, limit kissing. You are basically trying to act in a matter. Dating involves on a Christian aspect. You're trying to act in a matter that is modest that is respectful, that is true, while still having a good time, clean, um, that honors the Lord, that honors Jesus. And a lot of people want to tell me, Joel, that's, that's impossible. Anything's possible with God. Even Christian dating is possible. I mean, yeah, I know there's courtship, and you're going to say, well, Joel, you did a video on courtship. Yes, but I've been praying about that, too, and, you know, I'm in the middle. I'm neutral on Christian dating and um, courtship. I'd say, shoot, I, I think either one is fine. Because you're going to set boundaries. And what I mean by boundaries is that you're going to, you're going to act in a manner that is truthful, that is that is honest, that is that is clean. You're not gonna, you're not gonna curse. You're not gonna swear. You're not gonna, and you're gonna you're gonna look past each other's faults. I would hope. I would hope. If you guys are not doing that, then get on your hands and knees and start praying to God. Because it took me a long while, a long, long time, for me to start to do that. And it's been a few years. And I just, you know, I praise God that He has allowed me to look past flaws. Because we can't look past flaws on our own. We're human. We're simple. But that's besides the point. But what is the purpose of dating? Number three. My last point for this. Um, session. The so world view on the purpose of dating. The world view on the purpose of dating is to get a girl pregnant, have sex with her as many times as you want, or the girl on the other aspect. Like I said, do you guys have any problems, questions, concerns? Talk to me. I don't know at all, but I do know what I'm talking about. Because I've been in some dark, dark relationships. Because you want to know about this? I'll do an entire video on the dangers of being with the wrong person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm open. I'm, I'm a very open-minded person. So anyways, back to the, this session. With dating, the purpose in the world is to get married, and have kids, and live the American dream. Have it all. You know, be the Joneses. Seek every pleasure that exists in the mainstream. And that's it. 
you know, live without God, live without reason, just be an American. Just do what you want to do. Do what thou wilt. So again, that's an Aleister Crowley quote to those of you who don't know. Um, I'm going to end with this. The Christian aspect, the purpose of dating. The Christian aspect on the purpose of dating is to get to know one another. A series of dates. On group dating, double dating. To see if they're suited for each other. To serve God. And to serve the Lord. If God wants them to be married eventually. To, to see if that is according to God's will if that is um, if that's their soulmate or not if that's their helper the Bible says in Genesis the Bible says that um In love, he wants to be in the center. And in the world, we can't do that because we're so crazy about each other. And it's hard. Even with Christian dating, Christian dating is hard, but it's not impossible. It's what you set the rules to be. You pray about. You get to know each other. To see if you guys are meant to be together. To serve God. To worship Him. And to give him glory. And eventually have kids. And to fulfill the great commission. To follow after humility and being humble and of one mind. Not as in the world, letting selfishness and, and, and pride and arrogancy come into that aspect. Being careful that you don't lust. Or, you know, drool over the girl. It's crazy. I think I need to do three series to this. Alright, so... I've uh, made some adjustments. I'm going to do a three-part series to this. We're going to talk about 12 things now. Yeah. I mentioned three. So we just talked about um, what is dating on both world and Christian view, what involves dating, and what is the purpose of dating. Tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about four more things. I'm going to wrap that segment up and then I'm going to talk about the final five things. So I hope you guys are pleased with... I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do. There's a generation out there that thinks they know love. You're telling me I know everything about love? Oh, no. 
The only reason I know love is because God, because of Jesus. He showed it to me. Because I had to learn the hard way. But there's a generation out there that thinks they're falling in love. But honestly, they're getting hurt so bad. And it's girls and guys doing it. We're both. We're both at fault. Guys, we're just as bad as the thought as the girls are. And I'm trying to sway, trying to show awareness. That if we were to follow with the right mindset, with the help of God, my mom says a lot, with the help of God, we can glorify the Lord and worship Him, serve Him, and and do what is right, and not do what as Thou will. If we take what has been said, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna finish. If we take what has been said and we look at it and we we scale it with the issues on worldly dating we will see that love can only last Jesus is the center because if we don't every time we date it's never going to end. And we're going to have to keep on finding another person and another person and another person. My friends, trust in the Lord. Trust in God. He is your benefactor. Pray for one another as you date. That you would be pleasing the Father and not yourselves. Listen, I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not. But I think it's time we nail in the coffin and bring back love the way not the two people want it to be, but the way God wants it to be. Pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, God, so much for allowing me to put this together. This three part series. God, I pray for each individual that is wanting to love you and those that are lost that, that they couldn't understand there's more to dating than just themselves. God, I, I pray for brokenness and, and humility, God, and I pray that they would seek you. Seek counsel on my day. Even when they first start out. Lord Jesus, be with, the, be with those that are on dates tonight. That, that nothing bad will happen and, 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 and they will be able to have self-control. Lord Jesus, I, I give you all the praise, glory, and honor. I lift this up to you. In Christ's name I pray.